If you are like me and you're tired of the busy channel lockout setting on your TYT TH9800, the only way to get rid of that is through a firmware update. That requires computer skills, so do this at your own risk. You're going to need your programming cable that you use with Chirp. Make sure you have the correct drivers and such. I have Windows 7, so it automatically downloaded everything for me. Go to n6pet.com, and this is a full-on awesome website. Uh, you need to go ahead and check out anyways, but it's going to have all the information on the radio and the software to do this with. Scroll down till you see this link. It's uh, a RAR file. It's .rar. Mine looks like this because I have WinRAR installed. But if you don't and you just want to convert it to a zip file, which is basically what it is, just do a quick Google search and you'll find a website like this. Upload it, download it, extract the files in it, and you'll have these four files. Just extract them to your desktop, one of which is a program and the setup information for it. Open up the program, select your COM port. Mine is COM port 3. So I selected that and then hit Add File. You're going to look around for the file that came with the rest of the files, looks just like this. It's a .ld file. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw out a warning. This is very, very risky to do. You have to leave your radio and your power supply on during the entire process, and if you unplug the cable or anything, you can brick your radio, which means it will be unusable. I actually put mine on a battery just for safekeeping. You can see the radio is in full operation. Just make. I even unplugged the antenna at one point. Uh, turn your radio off. Just hit the normal power off button. Then, with another finger, another hand, hold down the low on the A side, the left side. Hold it down and then turn your radio on. It's going to take you to the BIOS, and in the BIOS you can hit A. Once you hit A, it takes you to the main update. Go back to your program with it all set in, all plugged in, all your cables and everything done and hit download it's going to run through a whole process i did not film it i'm sorry i didn't know if it was going to work and i can't undo it i'd rather not undo it and it's going to take a long time once it finishes you'll know it finishes it gets to 100 percent turn your power supply off just like that let it bleed out then unplug the programming cable now the software has to be done the the, the entire firmware update has to be done once that's finished turn it back on don't laugh at me because my power supply is wired up really terribly and go back to it and as you can see it is done if you have any questions feel free to ask me email me at w4jsf.ryan at gmail.com thank you very much for watching